What's going on everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Sean. I'm a truck driver trainer with Rosedale Transport. Today's video is a very sad video. This is something that I just found out happened. Two truck drivers died at the Georgia Welcome Center in Port Wentworth, Georgia. Now, I'm about to show you raw dash footage of this accident. It's right here in the corner of the video right here. So please, if you have any young children, don't let them see this, but this is, this is what happened. Now again, God bless these people's souls that passed away. Rest in peace. One, I, we don't know what happened. It's under investigation right this second, but they were, it was clear that they, one driver was parked sleeping. He was sleeping. And the other driver, they don't know if it was a medical issue, but he'd come in the rest area. And, and here, let me just show you the article right here that's on the news. For joining us here on The News at 6, I'm Mike Seaman. And I'm Dawn Baker. A fiery chain reaction crash left two people dead at the Georgia Welcome Center in Port Wentworth last night. State troopers say it all happened about 7 o'clock last night. Now investigators are trying to figure out if a medical emergency from the driver is to blame. WTOC's Flynn Sider has been at the scene all day. Flynn, what are investigators telling you about what happened? Well, Mike, Don, good evening. They're calling this fire a challenge to put out. Crews took about 12 hours to clean up here. The uh, involved tractor trailers, the charred remains of those tractor trailers are now gone, but the smell of rubber still lingers. Flames shooting into the sky after a catastrophic six vehicle crash in the back lot of the Georgia Welcome Center. As I approached the Welcome Center, I could see the flames from I 95. Pooler Fire was one of at least five agencies that responded to the wreck. Captain Josh Daniels says five tractor trailers and one passenger vehicle hauling a camper were involved. Considering the location of where this one was at, it was definitely not as common, you know, being being in the parking lot at a welcome center, especially with, you know, the devastation and, and all with the incident. Georgia State Patrol tells WTOC that an 18 wheeler driven by Charles Stephen from Jacksonville was traveling fast through the welcome center's parking lot. Stephen's rig then hit a parked truck, killing the unidentified driver who was sleeping inside. Stephen was also killed and investigators say it's unclear if the 62 year old suffered a medical condition. Troopers say that wreck caused an accordion effect with four other vehicles being struck and engulfing in flames. Drivers of those vehicles were able to escape. Cleanup continuing long after the flames were out. Throughout the morning, these tow crews have been carefully working to get these mangled trailers onto their flatbed and towed out of here. Bad news. It was a lot. It was going to be. I knew it was going to take a long time, and it has. It's kind of like domino effect. You have to take them a piece, one piece at a time. Drivers stopping at the welcome center in shock to learn what happened. You would think you were pulling the rest stop. That's a safe area. You could pull over. I really feel bad for the people who died here. It's the worst thing that could happen to anybody to die, but in such a horrible way, it's it's just really too bad. Now, firefighters say one of the challenges they had battling the flames last night was that there are no fire hydrants here at the Welcome Center. Firefighters I talked to said they had to run a water shuttle from here all the way to the exit just south of here at Highway uh, 21 and I-95 just to keep up. Reporting live in Port Wentworth, Flint Snyder, WTOC News. So drivers, it just goes to show you no matter how safe of a driver you are, anything could happen, your life it could be so short. It could be taken just like this. So I urge you right now, drivers, if you've got anybody that you've got any ill will toward, that you call them. Make sure you tell your kids you love them, your wife you love them. And I urge you to be the best person that you can be because you never know when your life is going to be taken. If you don't know your the Lord Jesus Christ, I ask you right now to invite him in your heart and tell him to come in your heart and save your soul. Because if you was to die right now, where would you be? If it's the last time you close your eyes, let's everybody remember the people that are involved, remember their families, and uh, God bless every one of them. Y'all stay safe out there, truckers. Struggling life with Sean. Let's get it.